morning, guys. It is the first day of school. At last check, Baltimore City was still down 90 teachers, but schools will open today regardless. This has been a big story that's been making the headlines. In just a few months' time, the school system went from having to lay off 200 employees to making a mad rush to try and find almost 100 teachers to fill empty classrooms. A few weeks ago, the district held a jobs fair to hire more teachers, but still came up short. The teachers' union says it's not because the system hasn't tried creative ways to close the gap. We did some proactive things. We even have um, employed our paraprofessionals who have degrees to be conditional teachers. So we've done some proactive things for uh, filling our vacancies. First year Baltimore City teachers are the highest paid in the state, with starting salaries of almost $48,000. That's more than nearby Howard and Anne Arundel counties. City school officials have hoped to use those numbers to their advantage. We have a highly progressive pay for performance model here in city schools. So teachers earn money based on their professional development opportunities that they take advantage of, as well as their evaluations. Even so, Baltimore has been slow to get teachers to sign on the dotted line. Now we're told that the situation is not as bad as last year. As for the CEO, he will make the rounds first thing this morning, stopping at Matthew Henson Elementary School, stopping by Carverville Tech, and also the Baltimore International Academy. He'll be making the rounds first thing tomorrow morning. Of course, he'll be live, Dr. Gregory Thornton, here at 6.30. Live in North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.